everyone welcome to kitty's vlog and what we are going to learn today book bag and this of glimpses of the past lesson okay comprehension check page number 45 question number 1 look at the picture one and call, recall the opening lines of the original songs in hindi who is the singer who else do you see in this picture picture one la irukra opening lines of the original song and and yaar adanude singer nu kekkranga and the answer is The original song is A. Mary Vadan Ki Logan. Uh, the singer is Lata Mangeshkar. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri, Indra Gandhi, Bahadur Shah Sa- Zafar, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Bala Gangadhar Tilak, Lala Lajpat Rai, Bhagat Singh, Subhashandra Bosh and Mahatma Gandhi are also seen in the picture. Question number 2. In picture 2, what do you understand by the company's superior weapons? Answer is technologically the east india company was far superior to the indian princes who were constantly at war with with each other the english men had access to better quality weapon this promoted the indian princes to seek their help in their fights these internal rivalries helped the east india company subdue the indian princes one by one and finally gain control over the whole of india Question number 3 who is an artisan why do you think the artisan suffered picture 3 answer is the an artisan is a skilled manual worker who crafts items that may be functional or strictly decorative the artisan suffered because the british were extracting very high taxes from them which ruined them economically moreover machine manufactured goods imported from british were sold extensively uh, which ruined the business of the artisans handmade goods okay question number 4 which picture according to you reveals the first sparks of the fire of revolt answer is picture 7 the sparks reveals the first sparks of the fire of revolt working with the text page number 45 question number 1 do you think the indian princes were short sighted in their approach to the events of 1757 answer is yes the indian princes were short sighted in their approach to the events of 1757 question number 2 how did the east india company subdue the indian princes answer is the indian princes were constantly at war with each other they called the english merchants to help them in their fights the people had no peace due to such constant fights the rivalries helped the east india company subdue the indian princes one by one Question number 3 quote the words used by Ram Mohan Roy to say that every religion teaches the same principles answer is according to Ram Mohan Roy cows are of different colors but the color of their milk is the same different teachers have different opinions but the essence of every religion is the same question number 4 in what ways did the british officers exploit indians answer is to earn quick profit the british imposed heavy taxes there by forcing the indian farmers to abandon their fields they decided to do away with the import duty for goods manufactured in england this crippled the indian industries in 1818 they uh, passed regulation 3 under it an indian could be jailed without trial in a court all the time british officers in, a, in india drew big salaries and also made fortunes in private business by 1829 a uh, britain was exporting Briti- british goods worth 7 crore rupees to india the british prospered on the company's loot while the indian industries began to die question number 5 name this people first question the ruler who fought pitched battles against the british and died fighting answer is conversing and second question the person who wanted to reform the society answer is raja ram mohan roy and third question the person who recommended the introduction of english e- education in india macaulay and fourth question two popular leaders who led the revolt choices may vary answer is mowgli ahmadullah of faizabad and peshwa nana sahib question number 6 mention the following uh, first question is two examples of social practices prevailing then and answer is first question answer is untouchability and child marriage and second question two oppressive policies of the british 
And second question answer is the British decided to do away with import duty on goods manufactured in England. This severely affected Indian industries. In 1818, they passed Regulation 3 under it. An Indian could be jailed without trial in a court. Third question, two ways in which common people suffered. Answer is they lost their old jobs and lands. They were being converted by the British. And fourth question is, Four reasons for the discontent that lead to the 1857 war of independence. Discontent was brewing amongst the Indians. They felt that their kings who were supposed to be their protectors were mere puppets in the hands of British. They lost their old jobs and lands. Taxes continued to ruin the peasants. There was discontent in the East India Company's army too. The white soldier got huge pay mansions to live in and servants while the Indian soldiers got a pittance and slow promotions. Few Englishmen had cared to understand Indian customs or the people's mind. The religious sentiments of both Hindus and Muslims were also hurt. The grease on the bullets they had to bite was made from the fat of cows and pigs. Working with language, page 45, question 1, change the following sentences into indirect speech. Okay, first question, first man, we must educate our brothers. That is, first man told us, our brothers will educate us, no, direct us, second man. Kita. Okay, second man, and try to improve their material conditions. Third man, for that, we must convey our grievances to the British Parliament. The first man said that. Answer is they must educate their brothers. Okay, this is the change. We have to change the indirect speech. We have to change the indirect speech. Okay, second question. The answer is the second man added that they must try to improve their material conditions. They must try to add. They must. Okay, third one. The third man suggested that they must convey their grievances to the British Parliament. Okay, one is one we one they are marirke, our one they are marirke indirect speech. Le. Okay, direct speech, indirect speech, in a difference na direct speech na nama vandu nama person to person face to face nama peser de. Ada de nama vandu pas school le rukum na for example school le nama friends kita uh, school vandu na solvo ha hi how are you. Uh, you book homework So, we will talk to you in a direct way. We will talk to you in a direct way. My friend is a soft my friend is a soft friend. So, that is the indirect speech. We face to face face and we have third person. We have a third person. So, that's the indirect speech. So, that's in the question, we have the first man and second man direct We have the indirect speech. We have to change the Second option. First soldier, the white soldier gets huge pay mansions and servants. Second soldier, we get a pittance and slow promotions. Third soldier, who were the British to abolish our customs? The first man said that the white soldier got huge pay mansions and servants. Get in the Gata Marga Interest speech. The second soldier remarked that they got a pittance and slow promotions. Okay, next, the third soldier asked who the British were to abolish their customs. Okay, speaking and writing, first question play act the role of farmers who have grievances against the policies of the government. Rewrite their speech bubbles in dialect form first. Okay, government or policies ala government or a colga in ala and a farmers is along in the local suffer a kangalane, Anglo de Kuregila on this ultra madri or speech bubbles on the number in the glimpses of the past lesson of Patholia, so the madri write panna soldranga, dialaga. So this is the Anglo de self attempt. Okay, second question look at the pictures. Fox accidentally falls into a well. Or Nari Vandu Tavari Poite Kanathukula Vidin the Dide. How do I get out of here? Na Yapri in the Veli Porade Abdin Yosigide. Hello, is this water sweet? Apada or Ad Vandu. Hello, in the Tani sweet Argada. Rumba Wu ini Pargadan Kekade. Oh, sweet. I have had so much, I might faint. 
ரொம்ப இனிப்பா இருக்கு நான் வந்து ரொம்பவும் அருந்திட்டேன் ஸோ எனக்கு மயக்கம் வர அளவுக்கு நான் என்ன பண்ணியிருக்கேன் இந்த தண்ணியை அருந்திட்டேன் எனக்கு மயக்கம் கூட வரலான்னு இந்த நரி சொல்லுது தந்திரம்மா அந்த கோட் என்ன சொல்றதுக்கு லெட் மீ டேஸ்ட் இட் நானும் அதை ருசிச்சு பார்க்கலாமா அப்படின்னு இந்த இன்னசன்ட் ஆடு சொல்லுது பாவம் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் த ஹெல்ப் கம் அவுட் வென் யூ கேன் ரொம்ப நன்றி உன்னோட உதவிக்கு வெளிவா எப்போ உன்னால் முடியுமோ அப்போ வெளிவா அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இந்த தந்திரமான நிறைய என்ன பண்ணுது அந்த ஆடை பிடிச்சி உள்ளே இழுத்து அது மேலே எகிரி குதிச்சு அது தப்பிச்சு வெளியே போயிடுது இந்த ஆடை உள்ள தண்ணிக்குள்ளே விட்டுருது மை மதர் யூஸ் டு சே பி கேர்ஃபுல் ஹவ் யூ டேக் த அட்வைஸ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் யூ டோன்ட் நோ எங்கள் அம்மா எப்பொழுதும் சொல்லுவாங்க நம்ம வந்து ரொம்பவும் ஜாக்கிரதையாக இருக்கணும் நம்மளுக்கு யாருனே தெரியாத ஒருத்தவங்க நம்மளுக்கு வந்து அறிவுரை சொன்னால் நம்ம வந்து எப்படி இருக்கணும் ரொம்பவும் ஜாக்கிரதையாக இருக்கணும்னு எங்கள் அம்மா எப்பயும் சொல்லுவாங்க அவங்க பேச்சை கேட்காம நான் என்ன பண்ணிட்டேன் இந்த நிறைய நம்பி அது சொன்னதை நம்பி நான் என்ன பண்ணிட்டேன் இப்போது ஏமாந்து போய் கிணத்துக்குள்ளே தவிச்சிட்டு இருக்கேன் அப்படின்னு இந்த ஆடு யோசிக்க ஆரம்பிக்குது ரொம்ப பாவம் இல்லையா ஓகே ஸ்பீக்கிங் அண்ட் ரைட்டிங் பேஜ் நம்பர் ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ஆஸ்க் ஒன் அனதர் கொஷின்ஸ் அபவுட் த பிக்சர்ஸ் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் வேர் இஸ் த ஃபாக்ஸ் அண்ட் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் த ஃபாக்ஸ் இஸ் இன் த வெல் அண்ட் செகண்ட் ஒன் ஹவு டிட் இட் ஹேப்பன் ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஷீ ஃபெல் இன் டு த வெல் பை ஆக்சிடென்ட் அண்ட் தேர்ட் ஒன் வாட் இஸ் த ஃபாக்ஸ் திங்கிங் ஆன்சர் இஸ் த ஃபாக்ஸ் திங்ஸ் ஹவு டு கெட் அவுட் ஆஃப் தேர் அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் த விசிட்டர் ஆன்சர் இஸ் த விசிட்டர் இஸ் எ கோட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்த் What does she want to know? Answer is she wants to know whether the water is sweet. And uh, sixth, who, what, what is the fox reply? And answer is the fox replies that the water is very sweet and she had a lot of it. And uh, next, what happens next? The goat wanted to taste the water. Next, where is the goat? answer is the goat is dragged into the water by the fox okay uh, next question where is the fox now answer is the fox comes out of the well okay is next last question what is the goat thinking answer is the goat is thinking of her mother's advice not to trust any stranger okay question number 2 write the story in your own words give it a title answer is once a fox fell into a well accidentally she thought how to get out of the well the goat arrived there by chance she looked into the well she asked the fox if the water was sweet the cunning fox played a trick she told a lie that the water was very very sweet and she had had enough of it the foolish goat also wanted to taste the water the fox invited her into the well the goat reached there soon now the fox rode on the goat's back and climbed out of the well then she thanked the goat for help the goat was reminded of her mother's words that she must never go by the advice of a stranger okay okay children i'll meet you in the kitchen in my next video until then bye from us kriya kumar thank you children thank you so much bye